My name is Carol and I am a breast cancer survivor. My husband is Ed. We have four children. We have three grandchildren. My health has actually been wonderful. I've had no problems, no surgeries, anything. I always have a mammogram every year. My GYN called and said we need to have a better look. They send me to St. Mary's Hospital and they do find something this time when they are looking. It was a digital mammogram which gives you a closer look. They asked us to step out in the waiting room area, which we did, and the radiologist came out and said, we think we saw something, but it might not be anything. We don't want you to get upset or anxious. And I'm thinking, it's nothing because there's no breast cancer in my family. There's no cancer. She says we would like to schedule a core biopsy. I go in, and um, they do the biopsy, which does not hurt at all. She said, um, I'll call you in a few days. This was Wednesday. She said, I'll call you by Monday. So we went through the weekend thinking, because there's no cancer in the family, you just don't think that this is ever going to happen. Monday morning, Ed calls me on my cell phone. He said, are you about home? And I said, I'll be there in a few minutes. Has Dr. Garrity called? And he said, she has. And I said, what did she say? Thinking that I have nothing wrong. And he said, she said that, that it's a little bump in the road, that you do have breast cancer. And of course, the first thing I think of is cancer. You know, you're gonna die. You don't think I'm gonna survive. You think you're gonna die. And so I'm on the way home, crying, wondering what I'm gonna do next. I was glad that my husband was there because there's a, another set of ears and another set of eyes because all I'm hearing is cancer. I'm not hearing you can be a survivor. I'm hearing cancer and he's hearing survivor, but this is the things that we have to do. When we go somewhere to play golf that's not here at the country club, Ed will say, oh look, I've rented the whole course for you today. And I felt like when we walked into St. Mary's that day, he had rented the whole hospital because I saw the same faces that I have seen through the mammogram, through the stereotactic biopsy. I saw the same faces and I thought, how wonderful, I've got the same people. Was I scared? Yes, because I'm still hearing cancer. We go in my room. Again, everybody was so you know attentive to me, they allowed Ed to stay there. He is sitting so close to me, and I'm thinking, how wonderful that he's able to do that, because they have that with the birthing center, where the husbands can be with the wives, and how wonderful to have the breast center, where the husband can also be sitting there with the wife as you go through all these steps. The consistency that St. Mary's Hospital had. It was every face I had seen before. And again, it was like I was the only case that they had that day. When I woke up in the recovery room, my anesthesiologist was there to wake me up. I saw my surgeon. I yelled at the nurses. I go, I'm alive, I'm alive. I was so thankful to be alive. And they all came running over to me and we were hugging each other. I could not have asked for a better experience. And again, I'm not as anxious about cancer as I was before because of all of the process that you know I was able to go through. And I would say that I wish that um, my golf game could be as consistent as my hospital. I am a breast cancer survivor, and the nurses at St. Mary's are my breast friends. <laughs>